Hello and thank you for this opportunity to come to you and spend this week with you, uh, spending time in God's Word and also praying with each other. Thank you for giving us this opportunity. This week, um, I thought we'll spend some time talking about a subject that perhaps many of us would be interested in, and it's about dreams, uh, and more specifically on how to interpret dreams. Uh, we will cover these things uh, a little each day, but if you're interested in learning more, I'd encourage you to visit our church website and uh, look at our publications. We have a book called Understanding the Prophetic, where we deal with some of these things perhaps in greater depth. So as we get started this week, the first thing we need to establish is that God speaks to us through dreams. In Job chapter 33, verses 14 to 18, the Bible says, For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds, then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction in order to turn man from his deed and conceal pride from man. He keeps back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. So the Bible is telling us here that God speaks to man. And one of the ways in which he speaks is through the dreams or through visions in the night, as it's mentioned here. And it also tells us that there's a reason why God would do this. So we understand that dreams can come for several different reasons. Sometimes it could just come because of what our mind has been engaged in throughout the day. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 3 says a dream comes through much activity. So if we are really uh, engaged in something mentally, uh, some of those ideas may continue to uh, work in our minds through the night and you know we have dreams in, re in relation to those things. Sometimes uh, it could be just even demonic powers that intrude or into our uh, into our dreams at night and uh, you know you rise up wake up with some nightmares or some very disturbing dreams but in like manner even God can intercept and uh, uh, speak to us at night in dreams and when you wake up you realize that this this dream that you've just had is something very very different it's not one of those things that your mind is acting on, working on, neither is it one of those nightmares, uh, disturbing dreams, but it's a dream that carries a message that, that is alerting you or speaking to you. Maybe it's bringing comfort, strength, and so on and so forth. And the passage in Job that we read, it says that God speaks in order to instruct us and in order to guide us and uh, he speaks to us uh, towards that end. So there is a purpose in, God's, in God giving us dreams. He can instruct us, He can guide us, He can warn us, He can alert us, He can strengthen and encourage us in, in what He wants us to do. So there are many different purposes. And Job says here that you know, he, God speaks in order to keep us from getting into something that's wrong. And when you look into the scriptures, you'll find many examples where God has spoken both in the Old and the New Testament to people in various ways in dreams. God also speaks not just not only to the believers, but even for those who don't know God, those who may not even believe in God, God speaks to them as well as a way of awakening them, as a way of drawing them to himself, as a way of guiding them and directing them. We see examples of such dreams even in scripture. Now, of course, one of the things, big questions that people have is, how can I differentiate between a dream that is my own mind at work or perhaps a demonic intrusion into my uh, sleep versus a dream that actually has originated from God, where God is speaking? I think a couple of things that stand out. One is, usually when God speaks, when you wake up, you're going to remember that dream. And Next, there's also a sense of God's presence, that, this, that there is an awareness that God has spoken, that this dream is different. And usually when God speaks, there's always a sense of peace, 
comfort and strength. Even if it's a dream that's alerting you or if it's a dream that is warning you, there is a sense of peace, comfort and strength. So by, by, by becoming aware of what you feel right after you wake up, knowing that you can remember the dream, there's a sense that God has spoken and there's a sense that this dream is bringing peace and strength. You will know that God has given you that dream. So we'll continue this tomorrow. Let's take a moment to pray together. Father, we thank you that you are a God who speaks. And we pray that you will awaken each of us um, uh, to this wonderful way in which you communicate to us. That you'll give us dreams in the night and there'll be night visions, Father. That we can hear from you and receive instruction from you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.